My question is for Quentin. Um, just curious why it was that you wanted to do all of your training in England this time. Obviously, we know you have a great facility down in Orange County. And just was curious if there was something special about Glover as an opponent that made you feel like you needed to go there to train. Well, uh, I just decided to do my training in England this time because, you know, there's a lot of tough guys here. and There's a lot of uh, good uh, sparring partners. But it was Christmas time, you know, I didn't want my... Um, my teammates uh, and my coaches and stuff, I should uh, leave, leave their families for Christmas this year. So it was easy for me, one man, just to come here and then all of them to come to America. Okay, and um, but how do you feel about Glover? I don't know, you know what you thought of his last fight and just how you perceive him as an opponent now that you guys are finally getting the chance to fight. Well, uh, you know, Glover, I just see him just like I see everybody else. He's a, he's a guy who says he's going to knock me out, says he's going to stand with me and boom. When he's come trading, most of his trading home taking me down and, and and fighting me on the ground. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's just like just like the uh, other guys I, I fought. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, sounds like you know they kind of like too cowardly to to say what exactly what what they want to do is trying to um, get me to focus somewhere else so they can you know what I'm saying concentrate on a uh, false game plan and have me train in other areas. But you know what I'm saying? I'm smarter than that now. I've, I've uh, pretty much found out from his pictures and stuff on the internet that he's basically just trying to wrestle me and take me down to the ground and stuff like that. So I kind of lost respect for him. I used to respect him a lot as a, as a fighter, but now I, I see his game plan and, and, you know what I'm saying, it's like one of those things where you just, where you get to kind of disappoint your opponent. But I'm looking forward to a good fighting fight, you know what I'm saying, and I'm just ready to go anywhere. I have a quick question for Rampage. Um, you've talked about this being maybe your last fight in the UFC. Have you thought about uh, anything after this fight? Um, how involved with MMA are you still going to be? Well, I, I plan on being still involved in MMA. I just want to get through the last uh, UFC fight out the way and then enjoy myself as a free agent and, um, and see if um, who's interested in me. Hey, Quinn. Um have your reasons for wanting to leave the UFC changed at all since you first made the decision? <laughs> no, my reasons for wanting to leave the UFC are still the same. So it's Joe Silva's matchmaking, fighting wrestlers, and... You say what? So is it primarily about Joe Silva's matchmaking, fighting wrestlers, um, getting held down, that kind of stuff? Um, is it no, 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 that's, that's just that's one, that's just one of the reasons, that's not my primary reason, this. It's just me um, making sure I talk crap about uh, Joe Silva's matchmaking. <laughs> what is the primary reason? Is it about money? I'm, no, it's not nothing about money. I've, I've, I've um, done this interview several times before. You know, I don't, you know, so I really don't want to go into it. But I can say uh, I have a new reason. You know, I'm sponsored by Reebok now, and the UFC said I'm not allowed to to wear Reebok in a cage when I see other fighters sponsored by Nike and stuff. Why, why can't I have Reebok? You know, just stupid stuff like that. But no, it's not just about money. It's about respect. You know what I'm saying? I go, I still have an octagon. I, I put my life on the line. And I try to be an exciting fighter. I just don't feel uh, appreciated by it. So I'm, I'm taking a money cut. I'd rather take a money cut, go to another show, go and, and feel appreciated. So it has nothing to do with money. When did you get the offer from Reebok? Uh, a month ago. I'm, 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 I'm sponsored by Reebok. I'm just not allowed to, to wear it in the cage. So Reebok still, they still taking care of me. They still sponsor me, but the UFC, I can't, I can't wear Reebok while I'm fighting, which is, I think is illegal as well. Has the UFC or anybody else try to convince you to stay in the promotion? Well, um, they offer a renegotiating contract, but I didn't like it. I didn't want, I don't want to renegotiate with them. I, I, I think that I think that the UFC uh, don't know how to treat the athletes. In my opinion, I feel like the fighters. I feel like we do a lot for this sport, and I just feel like uh, I feel like um, we we just not taking care of uh, well enough. I feel I feel like they're they're getting rich off off of all of us. Look at us like we we all having surgeries, we having injuries and stuff like that. Man, some of these guys can't even afford to um, pay sparring partners and stuff like that. Some of these guys fighting. Some guys fight for ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. That, that ain't right, man. So I don't want to be. A, I don't want to be a part of, uh, of, of, of this sport. Like it's, it's just, it's just bad. I don't want to be a part. I want to go somewhere where they take care of their fighters and and they treat us like human beings. I'm, I'm tired of it.
been fighting for a long time, and I'm set. I'm setting up for my chest. <clears throat> one, one quick question for for Rampage. Rampage, I know there's been a lot of attention with the, you know, you leaving the UFC, but it seems like going into this fight, you know, looking at your Twitter, it seems like you tried to stay very positive. You you put out a lot of positive messages through Twitter. I mean, has that been your attitude to try to stay away from the negativity going into this last fight? Right, you know, say I haven't been had with the UFC for a long time, and it turned me into a very negative person. And um, you know, say I just want to be a positive person, and that's the first thing I do. I gotta get, I gotta get rid of all the negativity out of my life. I got rid of a lot of negative friends, even some negative family members. You know, what I'm saying, and I'm getting rid of the UFC out of my life because they, they, they're very negative. And it's a negative output to me. So I just want to be a positive person and be a positive role model for, for my kids and, and for other young people coming up. So I just want to, I just want to you know, have a, a positive life. So yeah, I'm being very positive no matter what the outcome is on, on, on January 26th. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be happy with everything because I've trained very hard and I, I've trained to destroy it. I've trained, I trained in every aspect on the ground, wrestling, stand up, everything. I trained, I trained to destroy them and then leave uh, the UFC with a with a positive and a positive note and go on with my life and 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 let the UFC be my past. Uh, let me to touch on that Reebok situation. Uh, can you clarify what reason the UFC gave you as to why you can't wear Reebok in the octagon? Uh, I think the answer my manager gave me wouldn't be fair for the other sponsors. I don't know. They, that's all I heard. And as far as Reebok goes, obviously they're probably disappointed because they are paying me. Uh, did they give you a response to the USC decision? Um, oh, they, they, um, they, they down with me anyway. They, they like my, um, fighting style. They like my, you know, they, um, they come out with these new shoes. It's kind of, it's like ATV of, uh, of, of like the training shoes. And, you know, so they know that I, I do a lot of, um, training outside and trail running and stuff like that. And they like, they happy that I'm still about the shoes and I trained in the shoes and actually got me in like, some of the best shape I've ever been in, training outside, running in the mountains and stuff, and everything. So they they're they're happy with um with me just you know playing the shoe, and they they support me. They they know that um uh, you know I'll probably be you know doing more movies and uh, stuff in the, in the future. Who knows? I might go into doing boxing or somewhere else. They'll still they'll still hang out with me. So they not really they not really worried about the UFC. They don't care. Okay. They're not upset enough. Sorry, uh, and if I could ask one more question. Um, Dana White previously had Shogun at uh, Duck Glover, said he'd rather leave the promotion than fight him, um, and that nobody really wants to fight him. What was your decision to step up and take that fight against him? Well, okay. I think, I think, I think uh, the reason why Shogun, people just probably want to fight him, because who is he? You know, people haven't even heard of him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen in the cage, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can lose to a guy who really don't have a, have a name, and then you look at Glover's um, record, and you know, who has he really fought? You know what I'm saying? He hasn't really fought no really top big names. I think the big thing he fought was Rico Rodriguez, and Rico has like, been past his prime like for like five years now. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's dangerous for, for people who have, you know, who, who care about their ego and stuff like that. me, I don't fight for that. I fight for... Um, you know, since my career, you know, so I, I, I never, I never turned down a fight. The UFC offered me, no matter who said I ducked about it, you know, whatever. Like the only person I even tried to duck was Matt Hamill. I just didn't want to fight him because I thought he was a boring fighter. You know, what I'm saying, and I used to respect Glover because I seen him, I seen him fight, and like he told him things, and he was aggressive. Come at you until I, I seen his videos. He putting out, he trying to hold me against the cage and and wrestle me and take me down. You know, what I'm saying, to the, like, you know, what I'm saying, I think I, I was really. Res Respect him because I thought he was like a true fighter. You know what I'm saying? So I was, I'm game to fight anybody. I don't, I don't care. I don't fight to, you know what I'm saying? Have a like a pretty record or nothing like that. I pay my bills with, with, with you know what I'm saying? Just I pay my bills. So and that's probably why Shogun didn't want to fight him because he probably like he don't he don't respect him. Like, like who 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 has this guy fought? Like he don't. Shogun probably said, like he don't deserve to even just fight him in the UFC. But me, I don't care. I fight anybody. Quinn, is there anything at all the UFC could do at this point to keep you, or are you just kind of over it? Man, uh, honestly, I'm 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 kind of over it. Like they they um I gave them time and time again, you know, what I'm saying to like um you know, what I'm saying try to uh, keep me happy and so and, 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 and honestly, I don't think UFC. I think they're happy with 
was me leaving as well. So I think it's um, it's a mutual thing. So you know, what I'm saying I don't think there's nothing they can, they can do to, to um, keep me. But I just don't like, I just don't agree with the way they they treat the fighters, and, and I just feel like uh, we all, in my opinion, I just feel like we're, we're, we're taking advantage of it. I just don't want to be a part of an organization like that. Are you still having fun doing this? And uh, how much longer do you, do you see yourself doing to, uh, fighting? I, I think I have fun once I leave, uh, once, once I leave the UFC. And I can be um, I happy uh, fighting for organizations that, that I feel like uh, that I feel like appreciated, you know? And, you know what I'm saying, people who, who, who see that, you know what I'm saying, my, my main objective is put butt in seats and entertain people and say, oh, thank you, man. You didn't have, you came out here, you didn't, you was injured, and you needed surgery, but you still fall anyway, so you didn't back up the car. Thanks, man. I, re- I really appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all fighters need sometimes. It's like a nice pat, pat on the back and say, thank you, man. Like most people would have pulled out, but you stayed in and fought. You know, so I think I'd be happy once I go to a place that people are, you know, Recognizing and stuff like that, and and, and I think I, I got think I got a few more years in me, you know what I'm saying? Like my my train, the training camp is going really well, and and my knee is really strong now. I had some of the best doctors and stuff, you know, taking care of me and everything, and I, I did everything uh, right this camp, and uh, I'm telling you, I feel I feel really really strong. I think I got a couple uh, more years in me. You you have a gym now, also, right? I got a gym, uh, I got a gym in, in uh, Mission Vejo, and then um, we got a gym in Temecula. How's that going? How's it feel to uh, run your own gym now? Well, to be honest, like you know, I'm not, I'm not a business guy. You know, what I'm I don't, I don't run a gym. Then like I just go there and train, homie. You know, what I'm saying my, 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 my business partner, he runs the gym and do all this stuff. That's, I'm not that type of guy. You know, what I'm saying I go in there and I train with the with the guys and stuff like that and everything in between fights, but that's that's not all I do. Quick question for Rampage. You mentioned doing some more movies. Uh, is there anything you can talk about right now, or is that all still in the works? Well, no, there's nothing going on right now. I'm just uh, concentrating on this fight. You know, this fight, this fight right here is a very important fight for me, so I just saw that. I put all my focus on this fight, so there's nothing else to talk about. All right. Um, when you run down your record, it's pretty much a huge uh, who's who of, of MMA. Is there anybody... Uh, that you want to fight that you haven't, and you know what kind you spoke about. Maybe you don't have a couple of years left in you. What kind of challenges do you have uh, left when you look back on a career that's as decorated as yours? Well, it's, you know, I, I never look at people and say, "Oh, uh, you know, I want to, I want to fight." You know, you know, so I've never been that type of fighter. You know, what I'm saying I always, I always see my my my, my career as a career. You know, what I'm saying. When the uh, organization puts him up against me, you know, I fight him. And, and what's, your, what's your second question? What kind of challenges do you feel like you have, you know, if you were to move on someplace else? I mean, obviously, you've been here and done everything, you know, pretty much possible in the UFC. You know, what kind of challenges do you feel like outside you might have um, with the, you know, the next couple of years? Well, you know what? Honestly, it's like I, I I put my time in. I, I did my thing. I just I feel like you know what I'm saying. I just want to entertain people. You know what I'm saying. So I, mean, I think my 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 next challenge is you know what I'm saying. If I go somewhere, else, I just wanna I don't wanna be very excited. Maybe I want to try some boxing and see if I can do some boxing. I do some kickboxing or and probably you know my heart is with MMA. I like slamming people and stuff like that and stuff like that, you know. So where about going to like you know? But I think my challenge is that, like. I've done jiu-jitsu tournaments, wrestling tournaments, kickboxing fights, but I've never done boxing. I want to. I think that's probably my biggest challenge to see if I can go and be a pro boxer. And hang on, yeah, Kimmel's fights doing, and he's doing pretty good. I can handle it.